Hey there, it's Tanya Goody Buddy Secret Co. and I'm here to plan for the week of September 12th through the 18th. And again, I am not even close to what I thought I was going to use this week. I'm using this Pumpkin Spice 2.0 Vertical Kit. I assume that means there was a 1.0. And if I remember correctly, I thought I saw in their Facebook group, this is Cricut Paper Co., by the way. Cricut, Cricut Paper Co. Um, that there was going to be a 3.0. And I was like, let me just go ahead and use this plus. I was chit-chatting with my mama, as one does. And she and I were kind of chatting about like how I wasn't really feeling like seasonally a little. It, it doesn't feel like fall because it's not, by the way. It's a thousand degrees down here. Um, is it cooling off? Yes. Yes, it is. But I just wasn't feeling it. She was like, why don't you just kind of do whatever you want for September? And I was like, oh, that's a solid idea. And so that's what I have decided to do, whatever I want. Um, I want it. So... I didn't even show you these. These scallops came with it because it matches this washi that also comes with it. Really pretty. I actually bought this bundle because I like the washi so much, just as a side note. And I'm not a huge scallop user. Like, it just doesn't do it for me. But I thought it might be kind of cool if I put them, like, here. And then, let me find the page that I need. And then the date cover would kind of go over the bottom just a little bit. I don't know if it'll actually be any cute, any cute, any cuter than it usually is, but I kind of want to try it. Okay, let's just kind of eyeball this as a test run. Okay, then we'll do, do the Monday here. Okay, how do we feel about that? Like, I think it's kind of funky. Whatever. I mean, why not? Why not? We're just, we're just doing our thing. This week, per usual, I have nothing going on. One day, y'all, I'm going to dazzle you and have something exciting going on. Now, I will say this. I did enjoy the concert because I know that I filmed my last video way too early to be able to tell you about the concert. It was great. Kevin was present and accounted for, though I can't really say that he had a good time. He didn't hate it, he said, but it was definitely not like his cup of tea, but he went. He did not complain. We were very proud of him. Um, it was interesting. So I'm, I took like the most direct route there. I just like clicked it into my Apple Maps and it was like, oh, here you go, three and a half hours. And we get there and we find our hotel and it was directly in front of a Chewy's, which if you guys are aware, Chewy's is like a, I've talked about it before, but like a chain sort of Mexican restaurant. And I, I love Chewy's. Anyway, we, I was just so giggly about it. I was like, oh my gosh, we're going to a concert. Our hotel is nice. It's right in front of a Chewy's and I love Chewy's. Like I was like, this just can't get any better. And 14, 13, 12, right? 12. Um, and so I was like, let's go have Chewy's for dinner. And so we do. And I'm going to tell you right now, Chewy's for the first time in like 60 times that I've eaten there did me dirty. That was like the saltiest Chewy's ever in life. And then I'm like minding my business and I find out that, oh wait, there's actually openers for this concert. So I'm like ready to go to this concert by seven, which is when the doors opened. And there was actually two openers. So Ghost wasn't even going to come on until like 9 15 or something yeah it was 9 15. i have i have something to say about that too and i was like i don't want to go <laughs> see openers like they're neither one of them was anybody that i like genuinely enjoyed so we were watching something on the history channel called forged in fire forged anyway it's a it's basically like them making um like swords and knives and all sorts of stuff y'all i just had the best time i watched like three or four episodes of that and then it was finally time to go, and I was so ready. Like, Kevin and I wore our matching shirts. My hype level is like a 10,000. We decided to take Ocean Drive down, which apparently, according to Apple Maps, was not the quickest, which is cool, but was the, um, oh, that's cute. I really like that. What's well, the one with the least amount of turns. Now, what they didn't tell you about that is just because there's no actual turns, that the fantastic serpentine pattern of the entire road made that probably one of the worst things I've ever driven on because I'm blind at night and I can't see. Like my stigmatism's like, oh, it's dusk and now you are immediately blinded. Um, so that was cool, but we made it. And then we're trying to park 
and the guy um like there was there were only two people directing at that point because it was like I said it was like 8 30 so the, the concert had been going on since like seven ish or so and he like waves us away so we end up on the side street <laughs> and I'm like what, what are we supposed to do here like there's nowhere to park and like everything's cordoned off and I need something to cut washi but I don't have anything I guess we'll use this and everything's like cordoned off and I'm like bummer so we find like this side parking lot or something like that nobody's really in there but a handful of people we park we walk in and the guy was like what why did y'all go down there and we're like you flagged us and told us to keep moving he's like no like go in the other entrance he's like you could have parked up front there was like when I say up front this parking spot this man was trying to get us to that we completely missed because apparently we misunderstood the signals was like front and center you had to walk I don't know probably 50 steps and you would have been in the venue I was like bummer but at, by that point we had already had a little bit of a hike I was full of subpar Mexican food and I kind of needed the walk so then we are with these two guys at the same time um they get out of their parking spot and they're walking over and so they were walking with purpose those were some people that were absolutely 100% they knew where they were going since we do not live down there I was like why don't we just follow them like little creepers as one does I don't know if you're like that but you walk with enough purpose. I'm going to believe you know where we're going. Let's see. I don't think the pinks are any good. Just, I don't think so. Yellow's a no. No. How's the purples? Not my jam. Ooh, the greens. The mint green might be our winner for the day. Um, I don't like the oranges. The purple's not good. Blue. Okay, yeah. Cool. That was easy. Thank you, Sugar Pop Fizz, for your wonderful color selection. I'm leaning toward this one. Yes. I think this one. Um, so we're following these guys <laughs> and then we pick up another like group, like probably boyfriend and girlfriend very much like you could, the girl was wearing like these preppy, like little outfit. Like she was clearly there because her boo wanted to be there. Kind of like mine. I was the one who wanted to go and Kevin was just there because he loves me and didn't want me to get murdered. So we keep following these guys and then we end up around the building and there's like, there's nobody around. There's no more people that we can see. And we're like, this is weird. So we're just following these poor random guys that clearly were not going to the concert at all. So <laughs> the two of us and then the other um, boyfriend, girlfriend group, we just all turned around and they're like, wow, okay. Feel kind of bad because these poor guys are like, why are these strange people following us? What's going on? So that was pretty entertaining. We get in, we find our seats and um, Kevin got the world's biggest beer. Just as a side note, I just need you guys to know that thing was huge. Do I want to put, I definitely want to use this pumpkin washi because it's my jam. Um, but I think I'm going to put this washi on top of it. Yeah. So we find our seats, except there's like nobody seated around us. Except when I bought the tickets, there were tons. Like there were, if those were like some of the last tickets in that section. Um, and so then it occurred to me, wait, this concert's been going on for a hot minute. I bet there's been some shuffling because with the exception of the floor seats, which I'm too old to mosh. We don't, we don't do that anymore. Um, I don't have a cutter, do I? I guess this will work. I've never used this. This is like this little cutter that's kind of reminiscent of a slice tool from Print Pression. I did not enjoy the first time I used this, but because I did not clean my desk from the little disaster, we're just gonna, we're gonna, I mean, it's fine. It's a little crooked, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so people had moved around. So we actually had nobody beside us, nobody in the three rows in front of us. And so even with the people further down standing during the concert, we had the, like the most perfect vantage point because I'm not standing through a concert. I'm old, I like to sit. And I think I'll just kind of wedge this like so. Uh, actually, I might bring it down. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and wipe all the way down and be done with that. Um, so, yeah, we ended up like with really, like, it was great. I had a fantastic view. And then the actual stage was kind of shaped clover leafy, if you will, like kind of clover leaf-like um, because there was like the middle stage and then there were these two side stage pieces and the lead singer definitely got around and so did the rest of the band so I really appreciated that that made for like a really dynamic show in my opinion so yeah it was great I had a good time there was a couple times Kevin was like I know this song 
and he gave me hugs and was like, hey, this one's your favorite. It was very sweet. We had a good time. So it was entertaining. Like Kevin definitely got a kick out of it. He said he was like, it was funny. So we liked that. All right. Next week, I don't have anything going on again. I mean, actually, I kind of do because on Sunday, Kevin goes out of town and my mom comes in to hang out with me. Um, but like at the beginning of the week, I don't really have much going on. So I think I'm going to do like work and shop stuff. And I know that this kit comes with like these little boxes. Well, not boxes. They're like paint spot. I don't know what you would call these something and I dig them but I don't like super dig them but I feel like they would be kind of cute to mark like work days but do I really want to be that unique or do I want to do something like this with the post-it notes that's more within my like ability I'm leaning toward post-it notes just because like this is this too many things to decide and I'm very stressed out about the whole situation so post-it notes it is so Monday there will be work. Imagine. Cute. I love it. And fantastic. Um, so yeah, that was kind of it. It was a, it was a really good time and I'm 110% glad that we decided to go. And then on the trip back, oh yeah, so we survived the concert. Nobody was murdered. Big day. Um, we were heading back and I just like let Apple pick the route and it's like 6.15 in the morning because Kevin wanted to get back to the house to be able to um like work without much disruption in his like his day so which I 110% was on board with should I color block like can I color block like one of these and then Friday you know what no I'm just gonna kind of do my thing um so which I hundred like I said 100% understood where why he wanted to get back home and we did, except it took five and a half hours, which let me tell you, I live like three and a half hours away. So it was very confusing, like what was going on? Like, why are we taking this weird route? Um, anyway, I just kind of did whatever I wanted to do. I'm going to leave this girl out. Um, by the way, I'm not a pumpkin spice person. Like I'll get my one just to say I did it. But other than that, no. Nah. It's not that I don't like pumpkin spice. It's the fact that I like genuinely am very... Uh, I guess that's like, I don't know the girl is kind of cute I like her pink hair I like her better than the pumpkin or the spice girl but I mean that's kind of funny too because when I was growing up I was totes into the spice girls I don't know no let's just let's just do it this one it's fine um so yeah somehow it took us like all over the place we were on like these farm to market roads and then I missed my turn because I was too busy looking at cows don't don't judge me but I love cows and I ended up having to take the switch back, which was like the worst road I've been on in a long time. And I'm like screeching like some sort of wild animal as I'm going around this turn. Anyway, it was a good time. So we got home. Kevin got back to work. I immediately fell asleep because, you know, that's how I roll. Stayed up too late. And then, yeah, now everything is business as usual. Ta -da. So that was my concert story. I had a great time. Um, absolutely thousand percent would go see them again. Hundred thousand trillion percent. Ideally they would be in town though. Um not to say that it was like a bad drive, because it wasn't. It really wasn't. Let's do this little pumpkin spice fella. Even though Tuesday's the day I don't leave the house. Because Kevin twice a week goes into the office and he takes our little SUV because his little truck, he's got a ranger, is a standard and like it gets the job done but it's a standard in Houston traffic and nobody needs that sort of negativity in their life so we're gonna do this one here for work I do not plan chronologically if you guys haven't figured out from my channel I just kind of live my best life doing whatever I want okay oh let's go over you smoosh Yes. Nope, that's not right. Mm. Okay. All right, let's fix it. Anyway, so yeah, back to business as usual. I got all my orders out. Just kind of hanging out and wondering what I'm going to get into this week. Last week was pretty good. I ended up having lunch with my papa, which was lovely. He's a good egg. I like him. Mm, no. 
I don't like that. Now I want to do this. Do do do. Guess we'll put a label here to cover up this nonsense. There we go. And then we'll put this little checklist. Oh, nice. That's cute. So dang cute. All right. Let's see. I guess I'm going to use. I guess I could use baby blue. Kind of. I mean, that'd be cute. Maybe. Maybe like this. Yes, this pleases me. All right, cute, cute, cute. I have a video out on Thursday and I have a video out on Sunday. So what do I want to use for that? I mean, I could, I could use one of these guys, like one of these big swatchy ones, especially like these two. I mean, these, these are, those are big enough to really ride on. So maybe I'll do that. These are also really cute, but I don't know if I'll actually use them. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I need another checklist. I'll do it at the top for Wednesday. And maybe I'll do this blue one here. Kind of like. Kind of like this. Whatever. It's fine. I have no strong opinions about it. I don't plan with these kits very often. I do have these, which could be even more fun to mark my videos because they're foil and we love foil. In fact, we could do that. Maybe we'll use, I feel like there's not a lot of boxes that I actually like to use. Is that a weird thing to say? Cause there's plenty of boxes. I guess I could just embrace one of these swatchy things. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. I my brain does not like this. Yeah. Could use a scallop, I guess. Maybe we'll just use another third box and be done with it. There we go. Y'all, that was quite a struggle. Okay. Cute. Uh, yeah, it's been a minute since we've done a full scatter, though. If you look, we have this like really nice line right across the middle. Oh well. Oh well. All right. Let's keep on keeping on. Did I leave a? I didn't leave a space there. Okay, cool. So yeah, it was a great time. I'm sorry that I planned way too early to tell you guys about it. I don't know if any of y'all suffer with like anxiety, and if you do, sorry because it super sucks. And with the bad weather going to get my in-laws, I just needed something that made me smile. And yeah, that fruit kit definitely did it. But it kind of shifted story time. All right, pumpkins. I love pumpkins. They are so cute. Okay. This kit is so, so cute. I really think... Okay, yeah. I really think they did a good job doing this one. There you go. She a little snug. Oops. Pull it a little too tight and it bends the paper. And then we do the washi. The little disaster is much less disastrous today. She got to go hang out in the garage and she just like genuinely enjoys that sort of, ooh, there's a seam here. I don't like when there's a seam. Sorry, that's the nature, unfortunately, of um, washi, is that they're, the patterns repeat, so there's seams, but I do not want that sort of negativity in my planner, and so it's gone now. Cute, cute, oh, this washi is so pretty, so, so pretty. If you haven't checked out Cricut Paper Co., I definitely would because they come out with some very, very cute washi. So, like, I like sweeping plans for, like, character washi and stuff like that. But, like, I, I love a good Stardust from Simply Gilded. But for what it's worth, I think her kind of Stardusty design is so good. It's so, so good. Okay. Let's get this top up 
here done. Hopefully we will be more successful than last time because it is very uneven on the other side of the planner. Whoops. Let's kind of do it like this. Good to know. Kevin and I are on this like 90s movie watching kick and we watched uh, we watched Galaxy Quest. And I don't know if any of you guys know this movie. Um, it says Tim Allen, Alan Rickman, I think it's Sigourney Weaver's. Like it's just, it is, gosh, that movie is bad, but it has such a good cast, which is wild. Um, we love it though, like absolutely, like love it, love it. <laughs> and it kind of inspired us to look up other movies from our childhood, like, do you remember this? Do you remember this? And um, I'm shooketh by the volume of movies um, that we now need to go watch. Like we were talking about, like, do you remember, what was it, uh, Kazam? Kazam, yeah. And then it became a whole thing. Well, do you remember Shazam? Not the new one, but, like, this other genie movie. So that turned into this very weird, like, rabbit hole of trying to find this movie. Which turns out, by the way, this one doesn't exist. So there's like a million people who remember seeing a movie with, oh gosh, Sinbad, I guess it was, in a genie movie, but he wasn't. It was wild. Anyway, so we watched a bunch of YouTube videos about that particular sort of thing. I mean, it's a little off, like you can see that this one's sticking out, but I think we're just going to embrace it because like that's hard to eyeball and I don't really have the urge to fix it. So I think that's what we're going to do. All right. I feel content with the exception of these two boxes that this sheet is done for for me. I like those little black and white boxes. They're really good for just like general sort of nonsense. Um, but I think I'd rather pull in the color boxes for this one. Like I like, I like that. And let's see. I'm going to use these. I think I am going to use these for my videos here. Oh, actually... Maybe we'll just put the videos both at the bottom to bring some more of that foil down because there's definitely more up here than here. And we'll throw in some mollies. And okay, cute. So then we'll do this spice girl one here. There's a little disaster afoot. I can hear her making noise. At some point, she's going to figure out we're in here and then come barreling in. I'll just do this. And some checklists. So, I'll do a checklist. Cute. Oh, I just, I'm so tickled with this decision to do this kit. Like, this is so cute. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see what's next. More check it list. I did three and three. Okay, cool. Let's see. I think I'm going to move up with this checklist. Yeah, I think I'll move up here. And I think I'll down here and then back to the middle. Cute. Okay. So Sunday, Kevin is going to go out of town. He has a work trip. And since he works with his best friend, I think they're going to have a really nice time together. I don't know what sort of shenanigans they're going to get into, but that's cool. Go ahead and put this one here. There we go. That's cute. That's really, really cute. Hi, honey, boo boo. I was just talking about your trip that you go out of town for. What trip do I go out of town for? <laughs> your work trip. What is it? <laughs> You're the calendar lady. You have to tell me. Am I supposed to take you to the airport? Uh, no, I'm sure one of the guys will take us. Unless you want to take us home. No. No, I don't. I sure. what, is it, what is in the pumpkin? It's pumpkin spice. It's pumpkin spice season. That's how pumpkin spice is made? I wish. But, oh, I've had babies here. Yeah, she has. She'd be in a little disaster. 
Um, yeah, no, that's not how pumpkin spice is made. It's full of delicious chemicals. I'm not a huge pumpkin spice person. Probably some sort of new Thanksgiving drink. Ooh, the dream. But yeah, find out if I need to take you to anything. Oh my gosh, I can't get the sticker down straight. I did put a picture of us from the concert in my planner. In our matching shirts. In our matching shirts. I look so happy. Yeah. That, you actually look happy. I was happy. <laughs> Go away. You're ruining my video. I do love her. She'd be an extra again. Awesome, she's and bye. bye love you so i don't know what's going on with the scatter over here but we're just doing our thing it's fine yeah we we messed up on the scatter but i think i'm gonna just embrace it it looks a little goofy but that's okay all right let's see we have checklist everywhere videos are marked kevin toot tooting out of town my mom toot tooting in town so we'll put this here for her arrival Hopefully we'll get some food, but I still can't really taste, so it seems a little wasteful in this last box. And then I will de-stash this off to whoever wants it. Okay, there we go. And then Saturday, I'm assuming because Kevin's going to be going out of town, we're going to have to do some chores to make sure everything is done like it needs to be. Thursday, actually. I'll do that for work. And I'll do this one for work. And I'll take the weekend off to do whatever it is we do on the weekend. All right, there's that back there. I'm going to go ahead and use this little label to just kind of and that still gives us space to write up there. That's actually probably a much better idea. Cool. Very cute. Should we do another orange? Like, I feel like orange is very underrepresented in this spread. And it is pumpkin spice. And pumpkins are orange. Okay. Super duper cute. Very oh, happy with this so far. 15. 16. 17. 18. And I can't decide if I'm going to keep these or not, or if I'm going to de stash. I'm a little torn. Super duper cute. I do like this grocery sticker, but I don't know when next week I'm actually going to go to the grocery store. Sorry. There's stuff everywhere. So, Kevin. Two. San Diego, mom over for visit. I think she's going to stay for a couple days. I have a TPC project I need to work on, um, and she said she would help me. That? This is a permanent marker, and it is not writing on this. What in the world? Uh-oh. Okay. That's strange. So why is it not working on this one? Um, that's very odd. Okay. I wonder if there's some sort of weird film on it. No, maybe it just looks ugly. Whatever. Playing with me in E C. And I think this one is going to be um my August haul. Very odd. Look at that. That is so strange. That is so strange. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. And if you look at the difference between this one. It's like it's sitting on top. Huh. I do not like this. All right. Goodbye, Felicia. 
yeah, that's so strange. I have never, uh, and then this is manufactured. So just know that this isn't anything to do with Cricut Paper Co. Um, it's just something weird happened, but I don't like that. I do not like that at all. Okay, we have some regular boxes here in the same size. So I think I'm gonna just do that. I think we'll do. I think we'll do this kind of white one. And then we'll do this dark one. Yeah, that's very odd. I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay, so this one's gonna be our August haul. This one is gonna be playing with me. N E C. I saw that they she had these cute little arrows. What do you think the chances are making this work for us? Zero. The chances are zero. That's too big. That's okay. Control our own arrows. We have that ability. There we go. Cute. Alrighty. So next week, Kevin out of town. My mama over. We are going to be doing Instagram, which not been great at. And I'm gonna just call it, call it sniffing. Cute. I haven't actually started a book for this week. Like I don't know if I'm gonna be done with the one I'm reading or not. I might just do my usual, I might do my usual Monday grocery run, just because that'll set us up for the whole week and with maybe I actually maybe don't like that it's too it's like too big too small all at the same time I could put a glitter header behind it do you think that'd be cute I'll bring in some more colors she has very nice chunky glitter How do we feel about this? Eh, it's fine. I don't know if I have any strong opinions about this. Okay, so work in shop. What mollies do we want to use? I don't know. I want to have like a lazy morning, Saturday morning with Kevin. Um, you can see like all my sticker stuff stuck together. Um, I want to have a lazy morning with Kevin at least one of these mornings. I'm thinking it's going to be Saturday because he's going out of town on Sunday and I still don't know when that actually is. Should we use the pink? The orange would be cute. Yeah, let's do that. It's much bigger than I like, but that's okay. Lazy morning. with my love. I should have put loves because I will also be hanging out with the fat baby. This is definitely like sized wrong, but I'm just gonna embrace it because it's nonsense. And that's kind of how my life is. I don't really know what I want to use to mark. Um, I kind of thought about like pulling in some of the new mollies, but then I also thought, well, I could pull in like a pumpkin sheet or do something like that because it is pumpkin spice time. I think we'll just have to wait on that. And I do know that I want to use one of the movie marquees. I think I'm leaning toward the orange one for the movie. We're going to have to move our movie nights. So I'm just going to toot toot it over here. Which has led me to believe I do not like this grocery sticker. Cute. That's cute enough. I'm happy. I could have put it here. I don't know. I'm just going to leave this grocery sticker over here. I might end up using it. If not, it will go to my best friend and that will be fine. I like this reed sticker. Like this is super, super cute. Like these are all really cute. I wish I had more of these work stickers because like how cute would that be? I could use a laptop. I also have giant sticker molly, but I don't know. And then I have what I actually called the hoard over here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just pick up like some computer mollies. I just printed a bunch of those for my stash. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, this is the spread thus far. 
and let me pull it up so you can get the whole view of it I actually think it turned out really cute it's fun I'm glad I kind of used it it still gives me like bright vibes clearly like summery colors but definitely fall fit which is more of what I think I need right now because it's still 10 billion degrees outside so let me show you the last completed spread it's this one and the camera fell of course it did who else you, was yelling like hey your camera fell hey, hey so this was the last completed spread this is the concert week and as you can see it filled in nicely i pulled in these cool little boxes i thought they fit the vibe and I believe these are from a penny pages sampler love it the little molly Emer emeritus box was cute kevin and i down here he's so thrilled you can tell and then this is the current week we're in which i'm going to be honest with you i don't really filled out so there's going to be a a lot of back planning oh boy like like a lot of back planning. Oh well, that's fine. And then this one. I think it's going to be really, really cute. And I know this one will fill up nicely. So I would love if you give this video a thumbs up. If you decide you want to come join the Indie Blue Secret Co family, that would be incredible. And please hit that subscribe button and tell me what you think. I think it's cute. I think it's fun. And I'm really pleased with it. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.